Now, Susie, uh, yeah. speaking to us from uh, from Melbourne, of course you'll love your footy. I don't know who you're barrack for. <laughs> I'm hoping you're an Adelaide Crows woman, but um, I've got to ask oh. you about... Oh, no. So who, who's your team? Well, you know what? 20 years ago, I came from Adelaide. When I came, when I left Adelaide, they, they weren't even in the uh, the AFL, and um, so I took my then husband's. I didn't take his name, but I took his team. Turned out to be a very good decision. So I am a proud cat supporter, <laughs> and I am a bit sad about how my how my cats are going Fair at enough. the well, moment. You, you, you took out Paddy sad. Dangerfield too. But the reason I ask is because the, the bombers. Now we talk about you know the military and and, and these issues. The bomb. Bombers logo is under pressure. Uh, the club's worried that people don't like the sort of military logo of a bomber. Never mind that uh, this was uh, first put up for the club back in the 40s when we were at war. The bombers actually saved our country and saved our lives. I mean, this, this is, again, is the woke going overboard, isn't it? Oh, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely what happens when you let focus groups make decisions <laughs> yes. for you because apparently the focus groups have told them that they don't. They can keep the name Bombers, but they need to get rid of the logo. I mean, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. What's Bomber Thompson going to think about this? <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, and honestly, Essendon, Essendon has done absolutely nothing on the field for the last two decades, and yeah. I'm pretty sure a new logo is not going to change that. Yeah, they've been bombing rather than being being Bombers. Yeah, Bomber Thompson, a Premiership player, uh, named after the club effectively. It's just ridiculous. Now, Stephen, I know you're uh, an NRL man uh, and soccer, of course, yep. but uh, let's have a listen to Essendon great Matthew Lloyd, see what he thinks about all of this. Have we got to that point, have we? That such a great uh, logo and tradition of the Essendon Football Club that because, you know, it might upset the odd person or two, we lose something so special with our football club. So I hope it stays. Yeah, maybe they'd change their song. That's a shocker, isn't it? See the bombers go up. But, <laughs> but you're an NRL man, uh, Stephen. Would they have to change any names there? I mean, the Rabbitohs, they're, they're people who killed rabbits. You can't call the team yeah, exactly. Rabbitohs. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, yeah, the Rabbitohs, the bloke that used to sell rabbits to people in the streets of Renford. Well, we've got the Raiders here in, uh, in well, Canberra. So, you know, yeah. Vikings are probably on the nose. So, But I wonder, are they going to change the logo? They call them the Dons, don't they? Are they going to maybe have a picture of Marlon Brando, perhaps, as, a, <laughs> as a, an option? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just think it's yeah. ridiculous. Hey, we're nearly out of time. I just want to get a quick thought from both of you on, the, on this Titanic submarine thing. I mean, I, it's just so tragic that, 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 uh, and, and almost hopeless thinking about what these people might be going through. But, but I just have no understanding why anybody would pay money to do this. I would pay a fortune not to do this, Susie. <laughs> Oh, look, you, do you really want to pay $360,000 to be trapped in a tin can under the ocean? No, thank you. This to is see, absolutely awful. To but see some I wreck. wouldn't be there in the first place. Yeah, it's just the strangest mm, no. adventure tourism, Stephen. There's a million places in the world I'd rather go than to see a wreck on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, it's not my type of thing, but I understand that people like to do this. It's like skiing. I mean, the idea of hurtling down a mountain on two sticks doesn't appeal to me, but people do it. So um, I think it's a tragedy, though, that um, what's happened here. But, you know, if people have got stupid amounts of money to spend... You, you, got me, life, I guess. You, like, got me, you, know. you got me excited. I'll be skiing yeah. on Saturday with any luck. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Thanks for joining us, Susie and Stephen. Appreciate it.